In Central Texas, just a few months away from witnessing a total solar eclipse. We have the path of the eclipse uh, right here. Well, these are some other pictures of what that eclipse could look like. It's going to be a beautiful sight here in Central Texas. Okay, you could expect to see more than four minutes of the eclipse. Thousands are expected to storm the area on April 8th of 2024, including eclipse chasers, people who travel thousands of miles to witness it. So joining us now, Eric Hendrickson, because Eric, you spoke to some of the world's most experienced eclipse chasers. What a title. Yeah, that's a good title to have. If you're you're gonna have a good title, that's the title to Might have, well. right? Well, Sally, the best reason I heard came from Eclipse Chaser, Fred Espinak. They get a visceral reaction that something with nature has terribly gone amok. Fred and fellow chaser Paul D. Maley have witnessed over 130 eclipses between them, both lead expeditions guiding large groups of people to remote areas in hopes of witnessing this rare event. The big warning they have for people next April be ready for traffic. Have a good restaurant in, in mind and relax and have a dinner and <laughs> kick back for a couple hours and let the traffic thin out a little bit. Coming up on KXN Weather and Traffic from 7 to 9 on the CW Austin, we'll learn more about how the men got into eclipse chasing and where they are planning to be during the April solar eclipse. Little spoiler for you, it's not Texas. And these expeditions, they lead aren't cheap. One of the trips to Antarctica cost about $20,000. Yeah. And the worst part, it was cloudy. They oh. didn't even get to see the eclipse. See. There were 10 boats. Only one saw it yeah. through a little tiny gap Yikes. in the clouds. That gives imagine. me oh. massive anxiety about yeah. our eclipse in I April. Know. It really does. Well, at least you're going to be here no matter what, right? I will be here yeah. no matter what, but you know, yeah. you'll still you know who to blame. Dark. It'll get dark. Yeah. You can't you'll, control it. We, yeah, you know, we can't control it. It is what it is. Mother Nature's in control. Oh, she meant David, not her. All oh, right, yeah. I didn't mean David. It's going to be at 3 o'clock. It's not her problem. Yeah. It's afternoon. That, listen, at noontime, everything that happens afternoon is David Yeoman's problem.